in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can feel the essence of what it is you are wanting to manifest and at the same time, not caring about it, which is the key to manifesting anything that you are desiring to experience in your outer reality. But before I go into that, guys, for those of you that are new, I am Natalie. And for those of you that are coming back, it is super lovely to have you here. My channel, As The Pennies Drop, is all about creating a life that you love, deserve, and desire. I am a manifestation coach and a neurotransformation therapy practitioner, and I provide a variety of coaching solutions with me programs where we deep dive into releasing traumas, limiting beliefs that have been keeping you stuck from the life that you truly deserve, self-study workshops regarding self-love healing practices, becoming chosen and prioritized, how to radiate confidence to become irresistibly magnetic and extremely desirable to anyone you want, and one-to-one -one time with me too. You can find out all about that by clicking the low, the below the video, clicking the links below the video, all of my social media platforms, my free Facebook group where you can ask manifestation questions and also about my members only channel, the YouTube Badass Manifester community where you get so much more content from me too. All in the links below this video. So let's get to this video. Feeling the essence of the desire already being with you and not caring about it. How can I feel the essence without caring about it? The number one thing about manifesting is being okay without what it is that you're wanting. Because when we're in a place of being okay without what it is that we are wanting, not only are we saying that we're enough, that we're whole and complete, we're not in a state of needing it. It's a light, nice to have. It would be really nice to be with that person. It would be really nice to have that money. It would be really nice to have that successful business. It would be really nice to lose that weight or to put on that weight. It would be really nice to have new friends. It would be really nice to whatever it is. You <clears throat> See, when we are in a place of knowing that we're enough with or without anything, when we're in a place of knowing that we are enough with or without anything, which comes from a healing practice, if, which comes from deep diving into releasing any limiting beliefs and traumas um, and patterns that have been keeping you stuck in your life, when you can show up knowing that you are enough, with or without that, you are then in this incredible magical place of being able to manifest and then effortlessly get into the feeling of it, the essence of it already being with you, you see. So, like I said, the key is to not need it, but just to desire it. There's a massive difference. So when we're in a place of needing, we're saying we don't have it. When we're in a place of desiring it and feeling it in, we're moving over to this place of actually being able to experience it in our outer reality, in our 3D reality, you see. So number one is knowing that you are enough, and being okay without it. And if you are somebody right now that is really struggling to know that you're enough and being okay without whatever it is you're desiring, and mostly, not all the time, but mostly this is around love, specific people wanting X back, X back, I can't speak, an X back. Um, although, you know, I have had a variety of clients that have you know, issues of being bullied in, in the workplace and feeling stuck and not knowing what to do. So, you know, th these feelings could come from anywhere. They could come from anywhere. But mostly what I see with clients that do come to me is all about that need of being with that person. And when we're in that place, when we're saying we've got to have them and then we'll feel better, we've got to have them and then we'll feel happy, we've got to have them and then we'll feel whole and complete, we've got to have them and then we'll feel loved, we've got to have them and then we'll feel special, we've got to have them and then we'll feel magnetic and wildly attractive and sexy and stunning and whatever it is. When we're saying we've got to have something to make ourselves feel feel a particular way we're in a lack mentality we're in a desperation and need 
of having to have them. And then we're in a place of gripping hold of them, you see. So when you can, like I said, and this is what I did to detach, was I went through a deep self-healing practice. And that's why I practice every day with meditations, gratitudes, intentions, affirmations, um, you know, visualizing um you know waking up more and more and more every single day full of gratitude for everything that i have and then for everything that will come to me when you can get to that place you know that there is absolutely nothing that you need because you are showing up whole and complete i mean you're already whole and complete it's just been buried through lots of negative experiences that have happened to you so you can't see it you can't feel that but when you have healed, when you're through going through a healing process, that will start to come up the more you release what it is that you don't want to hold on to anymore about yourself. Um, so when you are in this place of finally not caring about whether it comes or not, whether you have that or not, but you can just lightly think about it. And you're in this really, like it is a happier place. And we know we're not happy 24 seven, but it's in more of a positive vibration than it, than in a negative vibration. When you're more aligned to, which is why gratitudes help, appreciation for things that you've got, affirmations help, meditations help, being out in nature helps, eating healthily helps, having early nights help. All of these things, surrounding yourself by kind, loving people help. All of that will help to fill your own cup up, you see. And that is then when you are in a place, more often than not, of a higher vibration. And we are all vibration. And that's how we create and attract, you see. So when you are seeing yourself as enough, with or without the desire, that's the not caring aspect. That's the not needing. Because you can exist knowing that you are enough without it. But feeling the essence in is so much easier when you're in a higher vibration yourself. So it's easier then to feel in the essence of what would it feel like if I was with my specific person or if my ex came back? What would it feel like right now if I had an abundance of money flowing to me? What would my life be like? What would I be doing? How would I be feeling every day waking up knowing that I had the freedom and the choices of the options to live how I wanted to live? You see, when you're in a place of knowing you're enough, and I'm coming back to that again, when you're in a place of knowing that you are enough, with or without, and you're waking up more often than not every day feeling good about yourself. No matter whether the sun's shining or not, no matter who's in your life or not, no matter what you've got or not. When you're in this place of knowing that you are enough, it's so much easier then to think, wouldn't it be lovely if I did have that? That would be quite cool, actually. I wonder what I would be doing if I had that. And then the cogs start turning and then you can start thinking what would it feel like if I actually had that experience what would it feel like for example some something that I did what would it feel like to be able to take a business to Ibiza what would it feel like to wake up every day in a blue sky day to be able to go to the beach after work and have a cold beer what would it feel like to be out in the sunshine and the warmth every day with my business what would it be what would it feel like what would my day look like you know, and it's the same thing with money. What would it feel like if you had that amount of money that you've always wanted? And go big. What would it feel like if you had £100,000 right now? What would you be doing? How would you be living? What would you be buying? Where would you be? How would you be feeling every day waking up knowing that you had that £100,000 in the bank? You know, what would it feel like if you had a million in the bank? What would you be doing? Where would you live? What clothes would you be wearing? Who would you be hanging out with? What experiences would you be having? You know, maybe you've had a dream of always being on a yacht in the Grenadines. Maybe you've had a dream of, you know, buying a property abroad. Maybe you've had a dream of, you know, having pretty woman shopping days, pretty man shopping days, pretty they shopping days. 
you know, whatever it is. Maybe you've had a dream of always wanting to be able to go to a particular hotel. But it was always out of your budget. So what would you be doing? What would you be feeling? Freedom. Freedom. Abundance. You can do what you want. Waking up, being able to do what you want every single day. Wearing these beautiful clothes that you bought or however it is that you want to spend your money. Traveling first class, maybe private jets. What would you be doing? Allow yourself to dream it in. That's the essence. What beach would you be walking along? What mountain would you be climbing? What ski resort would you be going to? What safari would you go on? You know, and it's the same with love. So when you're in this place of seeing your worth, when you're in the place of knowing enough, you'll know that you're enough. When you're in this place of showing up whole and complete because you were born whole and complete and you are whole and complete and you've dug up all of this stuff that no longer is holding you back. When you're in this place, it's so much easier then to feel in the essence of what it is that you're desiring. Your specific person's back. What would you be doing? You'd be waking up with them in the morning. Snuggle into their arms, hearing them say, I love you. Can I get you a cup of coffee? You know, walking down the road hand in hand, going out for dinner with your friends and laughing and joking, you know, going to the cinema, chucking popcorn at each other or something, watching, watching chick flicks, cooking together, going on holiday together. What would you be doing? What would your experience be? Getting the odd message throughout the day saying, hey, babe, I was just thinking of you. just wanted to say, hey, hope you're having a lovely day. Can't wait to see you later. I love you. What would it be? You see, it is so much easier to see yourself as that version of you when you're in a place of knowing your worth and value when you're in a place of not caring whether you have it or not because when we're feeling that essence in when we're feeling the essence of the desire when we're feeling that it is over time so much easier to believe it natural certain knowing so you wouldn't care to the extent where you've got to grip to it you would let it go You'd let it go because you know you're enough with or without it. And you'd think about it and it's lightly, lightly, lightly thinking about it, how it makes you feel, visualizing scenes that you want to visualize with whatever it is you're wanting to desire and what you're desiring. And then you get on with your day. And you maybe get, get a call from one of your girlfriends. Hey, you ready for cocktails? I'll pick you up in an hour. What are you wearing tonight? I can't wait to go out dancing. So super looking forward to having that coffee and cake with you later. You know, what would you be doing? Boys, lads, <laughs> gonna go to the footy. Soccer, footy, you wanna come along? Got some great tickets, whatever. Whatever it is, you would get on with your day, living your best life, doing fun things, filling up your life. And then you'll come back to the essence of it. But you wouldn't actually be letting go of that essence of it as such because you're still remaining in that high vibration because you're going through your healing practice and you're releasing all these negative beliefs about yourself and you're falling in love with yourself more and more and more. And that's why you're having this incredible experience with life and love all around you. Being in this abundant person that you are surrounded by all of the goodness and all the abundance that the universe has to offer. You know, and people are going to be drawn to you even more because you're becoming more and more magnetic, more confident, more alluring, more desirable, more adorable, becoming more popular because you're in this place, <sighs> knowing that you are enough. So how to feel in the essence of the desire and not care about it. That's exactly how to do it. So if you do need any help with healing practices, my self-love workshop, my um, six-week breakthrough program, or my five-week ultimate transformation program, or even if you're just looking to get some time with me, or maybe you've gone through a healing practice, but you want to zhuzh it up a bit more, 
radiate confidence. Oh my God, become wildly magnetic, extremely desirable to anybody that you want. Incredible. That's really incredible, especially if you are looking to manifest a specific person or love interest. There's some beautiful guided meditations in that. Like I said, you can find out all about that all of my services by clicking the links below this video. I really love sharing this, guys. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, your support on my channel means the world. And if you've remained to the end of this video, I applaud you. Thank you very much. And I will be back very, very soon.